Hey everyone, it's Road to Retire. Today I'm getting super petty, but my pettiness is absolutely justified. For the first time in my life, at least that I'm aware of, my content on YouTube was 100% plagiarized copyright, whatever the hell you want to call it. It was stolen. My content was stolen, used as a script for another video. So called Mr. Money. Well, Mr. Steal Your Content is more like it. A uh, huge shout out to user IMJ369 who said, it sounds like this guy stole the script to your video. I just watched yours. And while I was watching his after I had deja vu, because some, if not all the sentences said were exact copies of what you said. Now, I saw that comment at like 530 in the morning when I woke up for work and I was just like, OK, I'm sure you didn't steal everything. No, this guy stole pretty much everything related to data annotation.tech in my review. And he cut out all of the parts about my personal channel and my personal experiences. And he stole every single bit and used it as a script and just talked it out loud. Now I'm going to give you like two minutes worth of uh, proof of this. You can watch the video on his channel if you want, because I'm not going to copyright strike it because I don't know why I'm not, but whatever. I don't want to get into it, but I just want to make everyone out there aware that these type of channels, this guy has like 250K subscribers. You know what, let's just show it. So here you go, Mr. Money, 248,000 subscribers and 2,000 videos. That's a lot of subs. That's a lot of videos. New Mr. Money, probably because their old channel got taken down for copyright. But anyway, how do they have that many subs and videos? Well, they are a content mill. They just pump out as much content as they can. Look, they have like a quarter million subs. Look at their videos, 74 views, 52 views, 158 views, 144 views. But look at the generation as well. Three hours ago, four hours ago, five hours ago, nine hours ago. So they're just pumping out as much content as possible. How are they doing that? They are stealing material. If I move my ugly head here and scroll down a little bit, you can see this is where they stole my video, my script anyway, my uh, talking $500 a day data annotation tech. They published this seven days ago. Here's a screenshot showing that I published my video February 15th. And it's just hilarious. I never thought someone would do this and they can get away with it because they don't show my face. They don't play my music. They don't play my direct audio clips. They don't show my video of like my screen or my background or whatever. He's literally just taking all my words and saying them onto a screen with basic B-roll footage or just a screenshot of DAT's homepage. So it's hilarious. I make a ton of grammatical errors and I say things that are personal to me and I make really weird word choices and he just copies, he says them verbatim. So without further ado, here's the proof and it's literally the entire video. I'm just showing you a two minute roughly uh, tidbit of what I'm dealing with here. So I'm not copyright striking this channel. I'm just going to be whatever. I just want to warn you all out there that a lot of people who pump out this type of content are just stealing other people's content who are more deserving of it. And in this video, we're talking about data annotation.tech and what it's like working for the platform in 2024. I've been with data annotation.tech for over a year now. And in this video, we're talking about data annotation.tech, just like what it's like working on the platform in 2024. I've been with data annotation tech, or I'll just call it DAT, for over a year now. As a comprehensive here is everything you need to know about DAT without showing any screenshots, without showing the website at all, without showing anything project related, just so I don't risk any copyright strike. But I'm going to. So here's everything you need to know about DAT without showing any screenshots, without showing the website at all, just without showing anything project related, just so I don't risk any copyright strike. So first of all, I'm recording this in February of 2024, and I can very much say I am extremely active on DAT. In fact, I'm more active now on the platform than I ever been in the past year uh, that I've been able to work on projects on the platform. And the reason for that is kind of because of them. Yeah, I can very much say I'm extremely active on DAT. In fact, I'm more active on the platform than I ever been in the past year that I've been able to work on projects on the platform. And the reason for that is kind of because of them. So right off the bat, the hardest part about data annotation on tech is getting in the platform. So, so right off the bat, the hardest part about data annotation tech 
is get an in on the platform. But what ends up happening when you first sign up for the website, you are going to have to take a starter assessment and what the starter assessment entails is a bunch of questions just basically garnering your fluency in English and whether or not you should be able to qualify for the qualification test. What ends up happening when you just make yourself an account on data annotation tech? First of all, you are going to have to do a starter assessment. And what the starter assessment entails is a bunch of questions just basically garnering your fluency in English and whether or not you should be able to qualify for the qualification test. So basically, if you're fluent in English and you have a basic understanding of the language and how to use a little bit of deductive reasoning, you should be able to pass the starter assessment. So basically, if you're fluent in English and you have a basic understanding of the language and how to use a little bit of deductive reasoning, you should be able to pass the starter assessment. 